She looped the thread and needle through the fabric a few more times to steal the seal the deal. Fuck. Twilight quickly and neatly folded the cloak as she pulled an old shoot about. <laughs> well, this is off to a great start. But Silver didn't need to hear any more from her. Her ways converted. It sets a bad precedent. Moreover, to just pardon her off of would be. Not the right sentence that I'm supposed to say. But there could be, sang Luna tantalizingly. She produced a scroll from under her wing, floating it in front of Celestia's face. I've already signed this. Simply do the same and polygamy will be legal in all the quick... <laughs> it's polygamy. It's not fair to ask her to stay around when just seeing me would cause her such pain. Even if... Even if it hurts me, I'd spare her that. That, 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 And as they'd settled in for the movie, she kind of drifted down to the point there where she wanted to show her appreciation. So, maybe... Timing. If I have to wait decades to interest her in my car... Or I could just strangle you right now and save us all the trouble. Then, no mercy. She dove back in with the lack of compassion she showed to all of Equestria's enemies, and Luna's protest devolved into breathless laughter. <laughs> you have no idea how hard it's been to keep a straight face for the last however many minutes it's been since Celestia started getting flirty. You have no idea. Goddamn. We believe you, Twilight, when you say she's not quite as bad as we think she is, but your word is all we have to go on. We don't see you the... <laughs> after a few lines, she dared to peek again. And after the eggs have been gestated inside you long enough, you just have to like, Okay, all done here, gonna go talk to Shining Armand Red Bear, possibly! I ran out of fucking breath! <laughs> <laughs> moaned Twilight into the table, as yearned It's been taking everything I have just to keep up with them. <coughs> Sorry, I'll just, uh, I'll just excuse myself. For a moment, they seemed to... Twilight posed this question to Silverquill, and he had to think about it for a moment before answering. Well, huh. Well, we'll do whatever you want to do. I want to make it up for you, fucking. I want to. I want to make up for you, fucking. Okay, that has nothing to do with me. I just walked in, and I'm just gonna see myself out. Twilight nodded emphatically, grinning all the way. I have to burp. I have burped. Two reasons. One, the vertigo and the shock will be a little overwhelming to you if you don't, since you're probably very... It sounds like the vertigo and shock already took you. Oh, it took me a long time ago. <laughs> I am questioning the wisdom of this date. They went on several more rides that were a little bit easier for Silver to handle and played some of the games that were set up by the care and <laughs> by the carnies, not the <laughs> Yes, but by the carnies. Oh right, my costume. The pony reached up and moved away some of the white bear <laughs> Let me break this down for you, said Discord. His vase, his voice, not his vase. He doesn't have a vase, although it's Discord. He probably has a lot of vases with himself on it because he's an egotistical fuck. No matter her feelings for Twilight, she couldn't. So, as always, Twilight turned into a frog to get away, and it didn't really work because Thorax just went and ate her, and it was really awkward for everyone. <laughs> 